All right, no need to mince words. We're ranking all the Naruto arcs once again. Now, I already did this in a list format, which you can check out already on the channel. But right now, we're going to do it in a tier list format. Yeah, let's just jump right into it. I got my friend Marcus here. And I say what's up to the people. Yo, what's going on? Don't listen to this bum. I got the real opinions here. Factually incorrect, but we'll just get there when we get there. And when you say something that contradicts mine. First, let's rank the first arc, Land of Waves. Decent start to the series. I actually really enjoy it. I think nothing. I think more that is like a, a perfect solid A. That yeah. is yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. not, like, not that's like a stuff. that's like a staple for A. Yeah. Like it's not like amazing, but it was very solid all like, the way through, honestly. Yeah, like just not really much to complain about with the arc in all honesty. It's just like when you compare it to majority of the other arcs in the show, it's just like they they just outclass it. Like this was just a very yeah. good starter arc and nothing mm -hmm. more. But very very, very good. It's Yep, solid theme, solid villain, solid ending, like all that. <clears throat> yeah, no, no complaints. The Chuni exams is obviously at S tier. I'm not even. Yep, gonna, not debatable. Like too many highlights. Now I will say though, the preliminary rounds, most of those fights, they, I really don't care for them. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like you have extreme highlights, yeah, like Rock Lee and Gara, but yep. not really much of anything else. And all honestly, you can argue Neji versus Hinata. I don't care for that one personally. Um, like the choreography, but I mean, you know, it looked. It like was cool was to see their fighting arms. style. Not to me, not kind really. Of, but but it was like with method, you know. I mean, whatever. But that being said, it, it's like none of those fights were like terrible. Um, but I mean, the Sasuke one was solid. I yeah, think. That, that was cool. I didn't really care for Naruto versus Kiba like that. It was, you know, there were some points in the fight where I'm just like, yeah, to the end. Obviously, Sakura and Ino. That's one of the worst fights in the entire show. Um, Cho mm -hmm. Chojo versus Dosu, who cares? Ten, uh, ten, 10 versus Tamari. Literally, that th that fight didn't watch. exist in the manga. Like the anime tried yeah. to do her justice, uh, but it, it didn't. It, it nah, not at all. What was uh who did Shikamaru fight in the? Uh, I forgot her name, but she was one of the sound ninja. Um, oh right, okay, that fight was solid. Good enough, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't uh, bad. And then. And where is it? Where does this end at? I guess once they get attacked and like before they go out to get Sasuke, so it's like all that stuff. So that that part was good. I mean, once that started happening, yeah. Because wouldn't that include? Yeah, it would include the Gara fight and everything. Yeah, because yeah, some people like to disassociate the Chuni Jams with like the Kon like another arc called the Kona Hop Crush. To me, that's still the Chuni exams. It's literally in the same. I mean, yeah, they literally said, yeah, the Chuni exams isn't over yet. You still have your match, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, Stuff like that, yeah. Um, but yeah. So those fights were good. Also, oh, shoot. Sure, I mean, final Sasuke fight. versus Gara. Yeah, that's top tier as well. Neji. Incredible. Well, uh, I have mixed feelings on Neji versus Naruto because thematically, I get why. Well, it's it just like the thematics of the fight. I'm just not like. Or not that the match, but like yeah. Naruto shouldn't have won, in my opinion. Um, no, not at all. Logistically speaking, but I mean, I get he tapped into Nine Tails Chakra, so that makes sense. But like, yeah, he was way outclassed. <laughs> yeah, but that being said, Shigmaru versus uh, Tamari, that's one. Uh, that's a that's a highlight. That's a highlight fight. Mm -hmm. Enjoy that one. Um, was there any other fight? No, I think the 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 fight stopped. Well, you have Shino versus Konkuro, uh in the in the middle. Oh yeah, that was. Um, er, wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah, like yeah. Shino versus uh, Zaku was good too. Who? Zaku, the guy oh Zaku, there. yeah, in the preliminary, yeah, that was cool. yeah, yeah, that she, fight was actually really good. Man, Shino, Shino could have been a uh, a real player in the show. No cap. Yeah, yeah low key. Whatever they didn't already. Also, him. introduction of Orochimaru, one of the best villains in the entire series, and we get True. levied into the curse mark and the the beginnings of Sasuke turning to the dark side. So, you know, you can't mm -hmm. complain with that, especially since that leads into majority of what's to come through the remainder of the series. Oh. Oh, actually, matter of fact, even in the forest of death, when Sasuke like awakened the curse mark a little bit, that scene was fire. Yeah, it sh showed like the potential of like who he could turn out to be. Um, exactly, and also side note about the Orochimaru intro, just want to say that little moment where Kakashi was like, I don't know why I thought I could beat him. Yeah, I love that. Oh yeah, that was cool. Just to show he's in a he's in a class of his own. Like <laughs> even someone as strong as Kakashi wouldn't stand a chance, kind of thing. It's insane. Uh, but yeah, a uh, great arc, uh, and personally top three for me. But top three? I guess so. I forget yeah. how it, where maybe I top it. five. It's for sure top three. Uh, don't even don't even deny. Um, well, I gotta see. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. Mm, I would yeah. think I, f I forgot exactly. It, it was either number. 
well in, in case you guys didn't watch that video go check it out i ranked it somewhere in the tippity top obvious for obvious reasons uh go check that out but for now let's just keep on going search for tsunade that's a tier and i and i i, I would say it's above land of waves low-key oh above land of waves yeah i agree it's a tier i don't know if i'd say it's above land of waves though. why would you think. say that i'm i feel like they're both really solid arcs but i'm trying to think of like the fights that went down i mean i like the fight versus zabuza and haku better than i like the fight with like naruto jiraiya rochimaru like tsunade and kabuto i will say that but i guess it was cool naruto did learn the rasengan right that was something like rewarding you know obviously that stuck with him the rest of the show this also includes but, like, the introduction of itachi uh you know that little section of oh yeah i did forget about that Hmm. Like, right, what else is in there G. where he put up to naruto's room he was like he just knocked on the door <laughs> it, yeah yeah but so i'm not even gonna break it or nothing i'm just gonna knock that was kind of crazy all right hold on and then what else happened in that art um sasuke got beat to a pulp f from yep. itachi um which like it really gave the ideas like yo sasuke we can we can humanize with sasuke more about him wanting to kill his brother you know because we, yeah. we, we see the the evilness in him or at least the alleged evil um so I, I i mean i i, I deem it valid like, i enjoy this arc more i i, I guess at least currently I, how I'm feeling. <clears throat> if you want to put land of weights above it i get it but like it's, it's i guess it's, I, you could say i enjoy it i was just thinking like objectively i do enjoy this arc better especially because naruto's learning a new move like also jiraiya really like, jiraiya you know? and jiraiya I mean, like i love seeing jiraiya too yeah Jir well jiraiya came in the chinese dance but like he was really like you you like he was just kind of like a especially bro yeah, i love like that missing father he just appear every now and then bro, I, I love the scene where it's like he was speaking to sonati at the bar or whatever um saying like look if you turn on the leaf i have no problem killing you or whatever i'm like yo there's some g yeah stuff right there. Is, also sonati in general i like her she's one of the more mm -hmm. human characters uh in the show if yeah. that makes sense like you like she's afraid of blood you know in the show full of ninjas and stuff like that you you think that'd be kind of weird for like a character in the show to deal with that but like you get she got trauma I mean, yeah exactly like ninjas can actually go through stuff too and like that was that was her character for us so like i i really enjoyed her she, she she's an a you know she could die for all i care but you know, i mean she's all right i don't hate her it's just like i hated how much she hated naruto for some reason you mean Shippuden like she was know? always i guess yeah like or not hated him but like she was always like going against him for whatever i'm like dang bro, just let the man be like so I'd be like i think you should never let him leave the village it's like golly but i mean yeah she was kind of whatever she's kind of but i guess considering itachi and like i love seeing naruto and like jiraiya's relationship throughout the show like that was cool too i i guess i i guess i could agree it's it's, it's fine we, we could leave it there that's that's an okay spot uh if i rewatch the show opinions may change but i mean this is how i'm feeling for now so that's a retrieval yeah. this is s tier i don't care, I don't care. yep that's one of the best fights arguably in the series you know what i'm saying not even solid throughout good. all the fights in there are good like oh yeah each are peak fighting in naruto like even choji had a moment bro if you give choji a moment oh, that's how you know you've done the art justice and it went hard too like they took advantage of the fact that we knew he was like the weakest link or whatever like you know what i mean and they made it into something like that fight went crazy Right, it showed Neji's weakness with the his 360 vision, which is not really 360 technically speaking. Um, that was yep. like a cool like scuffle, and it was it was actually one of those only fights where like like him and Choji were the only fights where it's like they won their fights. You feel me? Even though they almost died, uh, the yep. other fights they had to you know get saved by the the Sand Ninja. But that being said, the other yep. fights were still uh, cool. Shikamaru versus Tayuya, underrated fight. That was, but, un uh, yeah, that was. I don't know. That might be. That might be one of my favorite. Low key. That probably might be my second favorite out of uh, those five fights. Yeah, I would say it goes um, <laughs> Neji's, then Shikamaru's, then Choji's, then um, Kiba's. Because Kiba's fight was kind of add to me. Oh yeah, no, um, that was whatever to me. But I don't remember it being bad. Um, nah, it wasn't bad. Then you have Kiba's. I just, I just don't really like Kiba all that much. And then like, oh yeah, Kiba's. Oh, that was crazy. That fight, I almost forgot about that one. That one's like that one would be a, honestly above all those in my opinion. That fight went hard. Yeah. Even with Naruto's little scuffle before Lee showed up and was like, "Yo, go get Sasuke," and and Lee drunk and yeah. Lee—that's that's crazy. Bro, he, dude, bro. Bro, nah, Lee crazy. showed up. He said, "Oh, a real one just pulled up. A real one just pulled up." Right. And then yeah, Gar came through and through. just you know stole the show. Also, it's crazy like to see the potential of Kimimaro because after fighting all three of them, he still was about to kill them. It's just because he died. Like right, that was literally like a case of. You, you know what I mean? Just like worst case scenario, like he was literally on yeah. his deathbed. 
And that makes you think now, if he was at like full potential, would he have been stronger than like Naruto and Sasuke? Like at their final valley parts, who knows? Oh, I don't know. Didn't Orochimaru, or wasn't it like Orochi? Like, I know Orochimaru wanted Kimimaru's body, body, but like, was it more? It was like Sasuke? second to Sasuke. Sek okay. I think it was like, I mean, maybe it might have been more than Sasuke because he was like, oh, I wanted you first. But then he was like, oh, well, like, I can have the Sharingan. Guns. So I don't know which one he wanted more because technically he wanted Itachi first. So, like, I feel like the Sharingan Gun would help Orochimaru more than Kimimaru's body, but I just think Kimimaru was like pretty strong comparatively. I mean, he had one of the strongest curse marks too. Wait, who? Oh, Kimaru. Yeah, he had like uh, equal, equally strong curse mark to Sasuke. He had like the Earth one, Sasuke had the Heaven one. Mm. I don't know. I think I think he would have been like comparable to Sasuke, like with his like fully realized curse mark at the end in the final valley, if he was at full health. But you know, yeah, that's a fight we'll never get to see. But interesting. But that being said, Naruto versus Sasuke, obviously one of the best fights in the entire series. I deem it like a toss up between that one and the final Naruto versus Sasuke fight as to what is the best. I deem this one better than the one in Shippuden only because of like m maybe just like for nostalgic, not nostalgia, but like you know how, how would you put it. Um, uh, it, it, the fight that I means mean, the fight that means the most, because obviously this is the first time we're really seeing them really, really scuffle. Obviously they did so in the yeah. beginning of this arc, but like this is like, oh, you really want Naruto to win this fight uh, to bring Sasuke home, whereas the final one, we'll get to that in a little later. Where it's like it's really just the spectacle of it all, especially with the anime version. Like uh, we, you know, mm. you put two two together, you know what's gonna happen at the end, but like you know. Like you're you're in for a treat with that last one this one though you're really into it for the story as well that's where i'll give it especially with the backstory um that was implemented in the fight with sasuke and itachi beautiful um gave context as to why sasuke was more so willing to kill naruto at this point um and then him at the mm -hmm. end not wanting to not to follow in his brother's footsteps shows that like there's a little bit of uh, more so humanity towards sasuke even though he's seeking evilness uh, for power yeah now i mean i'd argue the last fight in the in shippuden has like just as much like thematic context with it since that was obviously built up for even longer time like throughout shippuden like kind of like almost like a like a rematch in a way like they talked about it even like the great sage was like oh you're gonna fight somebody with like powerful eyes blah 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 and like kind of naruto having like that inner struggle trying to figure out how he was gonna deal with sasuke all the way up until the end and then also like this is just me but i like i don't know how to i'd say this like this is like my favorite start to a fight in the show and my maybe like not start but like kind of in that way where sasuke was like you think everything is good like the war is finally over and sasuke is like actually nah you know what i'm saying like like i love that they started playing like that theme and everything like that was like a really cool moment where you realize like oh shoot like it's not over yet like he still gotta like deal with this like it's kind of like you almost forget that they were fighting for a little while and right. obviously the fight cinematically best fight in the show in my opinion besides like maybe kakashi versus obito oh yeah that, that but like yeah that's, really that's choreography more so like in my opinion like the cinematics the everything else i think the final fight is like the best in that aspect it yeah. goes crazy like we'll, we'll say, save more of that conversation when we get to you know yeah the end um but also konohawk crush i forgot um, i didn't realize this was yeah that's just, just put it in the 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 i didn't even see that either yeah. okay kazakage rescue i think this is a device of to people but in all yeah. honesty this is not that great of an arc i think it's like a b i, would, I like could a, argue c bro. Probably b. what highlights are there like, see for me i mean i don't think the gar versus um data fight was bad it was soccer and granny chio versus sasori was a really good fight honestly it was like, solid and that starting part and like the i mean the only thing that really drags it down is that it kind of dragged out at certain parts i don't think that's enough to put it to see though that was the like spice almost, were solid well i could argue that was literally half the arc though like yeah, like, like um before or like what when they were trying to get to gara itachi and kisame was just a useless inclusion number one i mean that fight was um that fight wasn't bad though like those fights were cool too honestly you got to see the gates from guy like um itachi and naruto and kakashi like you know got to see that fight but again like, i think those fights are contextually speaking yeah, they, they serve no purpose they could have not happened and the story would have ended up the same you know i mean saying? like sure i guess you could say that for like certain things but like i'm just saying as far as like a fight and visually me having to watch it it was cool it wasn't like bad or boring it was just more so that like it ended up being like just a random clone so it didn't have any effect on anything when they won like that was really it yeah but again i mean i mean i don't think that's enough to put it to c because i still think the arc was like enjoyable in some way like i think c is just like it's just kind of like like this like you know like almost not enjoyable or like really not enjoyable 
and just kind of whatever and then d would be like actively bad like horrible you know <laughs> like worse i guess but i don't know i mean I, it's up to you if you think it deserves c then i guess that's i'll, I'll fair, put that i'll put it at b for now but i'm sure this is gonna be like at the bottom of b this is still to me one of the yeah worst. like like i said it's not a bad arc but it's still one of the worst um that's fair in comparison tenchi bridge arc though i forget i mean it's just what c. you'd argue c no i was gonna no i was gonna say like c because <laughs> this fight like the fight in this arc I, I'd, I'd probably say b as well for this one i'd say it's better than kaze kage. the kaze kage rescue only because a you got that crazy fight with four tails naruto and orochimaru which is has personally one of my one of my favorite moments in the show when he like first goes four tails and they got like that what's that instrument that's like a piano but it's not a piano like the organ or whatever anyway they got like that ost playing in the background that goes crazy it's just like a personal moment that i like and also i'm assuming this includes them meeting sasuke as well yeah and uh, yeah so that was also really cool so for just for those reasons alone i feel like it's already better than the kazakage arc and like you know I mean, whatever else i guess true but it does have it, its downsides um i feel like yep. sai and yamato while they're not bad characters i don't care for them specifically sai yeah. because i feel like he had potential with him being like he he was the embodiment of what a ninja was supposed to be in naruto like an emotionless tool but then he started to yeah. grandeur emotions uh, throughout the arc, uh, at least at least attempting to by the end. Which is cool. I mean, character development. Yeah, but that really amounts to nothing for the majority of the series until like the war arc, at least for him. Yamato, he's just a, a wooden block to me. Like he was just a feeling. Yeah, like yeah, he was just like kind of boring. I mean, I liked his abilities, but like personality wise, his character, I didn't really care much when he was on screen. It was kind of whatever. Like he just felt like he was just there. As like a bodyguard, really. So like, it, no replacement for Sasuke and Kakashi, I guess. Yeah, but again, not bad characters. Just like, who cares? We just had to spend like majority of the arc with them. But it's you know, it was yeah. draining, to say the least. But but it's nah, fair. It was be fair. That's like some sure. words. Kasi suppression. I'm putting this at A. I really love this arc. Like, I don't think it's better yeah, than those fair. two. But like this one is really cool, especially for an arc not that's like barely has Naruto in it. Uh, at least for like against like main villains like this is a really really good arc yeah, arguably one of the best revenge moments in the show probably the best revenge moment in the show i'd one of say the best, i'd argue in anime history Loki. yeah really he got his get first of all i love first of all shikamaru is not like a a fighting type you get what i'm trying to say and he still was able yeah. to beat someone who has better physicality than him through his mind he's the batman of naruto mm -hmm. he has pr with prep time he can almost beat anyone and that's what i like about shikamaru at least in this instance I it mean, was well calculated yeah. this fight with hidon was great uh and kakazu yep. too um you know they were a great they were a great immortal duo which is like wow they really had to face off oh this is what like the akatsuki really is like they're, this is where we're really starting to get more into the akatsuki and we're we're, we're going to see their own with their own motives as opposed to what the akatsuki generally wants we see mm -hmm. kakazu is generally more like a greedy individual he's trying to collect his bounty he's about he's about his back which i respect hedon is following his own religion or whatever he kills for pleasure in a sense doesn't care about money blah 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 <laughs> pretty right. much yeah it was a good opt in a way exactly but they were still the perfect duo because you know yep. the, the, the motor or whatever um yeah they can't kill each other so and like which one cause i think awesome dying really like solidified this arc too it kind of made it more serious since yeah. they actually had like a casualty so it's like damn this is like real you know like we got to take these people out they're actually dangerous right right like it's not like oh like it's a mission it went bad but then we won it's like nah like somebody died like like they, they're actually a threat you know what i mean right they got their get back and again it includes characters that i don't really care for like she uh Eno uh, and choji you know whatever characters but they still had a role to play now that being yeah. said i don't know what did Eno do uh in the start now i think about it i mean in the first fight they had i don't know was that the second fight second i guess fight. um second fight i mean not really much i don't she did she mind transfer at some point or no i think she could I mean, she helped find them, I guess, but in the fight, she really did nothing. Like, same with Choji, honestly. Like, he didn't really accomplish much of anything. Well, no, I think like, he it was like really a, just a caution to Kamaru. I, I remember yeah. Choji doing some things physicality wise. Uh, like, the. I mean, I know he went like big and then he tried to like hit him, but he just missed and then he got clapped. Like, at least, really there were, at least there were attempts made. Yeah, I mean, same with Eno, but she obviously didn't like do anything 
but it didn't amount to anything. I don't know what she attempted. If you, like you said, she probably found like She might have threw her kunai or something. He, she just got like grabbed by the neck and <laughs> like dragged. But again, I mean, it, it was fine because honestly, that shows like the difference in their level of like skill. You know what I mean? That's okay with me. Like showing like Akashi, you know, he really is a joint. Like he really is like that. And Shikamaru's intellect allows him to like fight better. <laughs> like you could kind of see that they um, have a gap between them. Which again is okay. I mean, I'm cool with that. Yeah. And again, like even the little scuffle with Kakashi, Hidan, and Kakazu, and like them, like that was that was really good. Yeah, too. that was really really good fight. I think I put that. Like I, I forget if I put that in like an A or S tier with that fight. I think I put that S tier. Not mistaken. Um, but also yeah, with Naruto like, showing up as well too with the 50 percent win style of Rasen Shuriken. Um, mm -hmm. Even if it was 50 percent, that was still like a really cool moment with what he was able to do with his own nature transformation, adding it into the Rasengan. Training in general was cool too, and how he utilized clones to speed along the process of finishing a job. And that's low key a broken ability. If he continually does that, like he can learn multiple jutsu in a flash. Like that would really, really be handy for Naruto. I don't think he really does it he does it certain times i believe but yeah no that that, that was a really good training uh arc and moment for him especially with him realizing he's wind uh, and he found out sasuke's lightning they're like incompatible or like he's more so going to lose to sasuke at that point but you know he's still wanting to push through and stuff like that so. yeah and like the way he was kind of like oh like it's not that i'm gonna like cancel out his lightning it's more so i can amplify his fire i guess so it was like you know still his like way of thinking i guess you could call it naive but right right with that but yeah no it was, it was really cool i think that's i think that's fair right, eh? yeah, yeah that's fair right, eh? good, good, good ranking. i'm gonna rank these two the same itachi pursuit and faded battle between brothers i just call it the itachi finding him arc or whatever the fight between them those are s tier they're s -tier. easily and mm -hmm. i would argue ooh, do i put these above no i won't do it wait wait wait, wait 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 itachi <laughs> hold up you taught the Tachi flight in ju the oh man, now that's now that's gonna. Be I don't know. That would be hard. yeah. The Tachi fight was amazing. The aftermath, even that, bro, like that, like honestly, like even at that point where the aftermath with Obito and he like takes Sasuke to his like hideout and like that whole scene, phew, I love that part too. Like that whole arc is just super solid. And I'm assuming this includes where the team, whatever, like everybody from the Leaf just went out and go to search for Sasuke and they yeah. kind of fought Obito a little bit. Yeah, hey, that was cool too. I mean, I enjoyed that. Actually, wait, would this include Data as well? The Data, yeah, fight? yeah. Oh, yeah. This might be above. Uh, where are we gonna put it above? Um, I don't Cause like, know. Wait, wait. What? I oh, think, hold on. Let me clarify. Uh, is Sasuke is retrieval arc above training exams? I gotta think. Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, like, I huh? you're you're because I because because mm, because I I, I want to say this Hard like say. these this arc is potentially better than because what i remember from my video is that i ranked the itachi stuff along with the tail jiraiya but kept the pain assault separate because that's how i was configuring it from like the manga or how it did it but like if i'm doing it differently i, mean, I here, like keeping the itachi and sasuke once together and then the pain and jiraiya once together you know okay yeah i'll keep it at that then but would this still be above because uh, it's sasuke, okay. sasuke above it's, sasuke it's above definitely Shiri. above konoha crush but they're that's they're together, it's generally guess, the but same like, arc though that's what i'm trying to get at. all right well um i feel like they're i feel like they're really i'm gonna say yes i'm gonna say yes i'm gonna say yes. you're gonna say yeah i'm gonna say because yes. honestly like i don't know i don't know like uh think about it like it's i like, guess that's fair it just don't feel right but i guess that's fair like if it's a honestly, i think it's I a think toss it, i'm like i might like rock league versus guard more than the final fight with naruto and sasuke that's arguable but like the fact that like here, but like i'm not about this way, there's more fight. I'd ar I'd argue there's more peak in the re retrieval arc than shooting exam. You can make uh, the argue, you can make okay. the argument. The forest of death was really cool. You got the moment like, anything that happens in there, like a lot of those fights were cool. Specifically, moment with Sasuke and the curse mark that mm -hmm. was cool. You got Orochimaru's introduction. You got obviously Rock Lee versus Gara. You got Sasuke versus Gara at the end. You got Naruto versus Gara, which I mean, sure those aren't as peak as like the some of the fights in Sasuke retrieval, but. Uh, I, honestly, they'd be like almost the same rating for me, so you could really say they're interchangeable. I don't really care, I guess. <laughs> uh, all right, but sure. I can't really say one's better than the other. I feel like they're both about the same. They kind of even out. You can argue, um, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, you know, the, the Itachi stuff, I don't know, because I feel. But like as I far as wanna... Itachi goes, I might have to. Oh, I don't know. I think I, I, I feel like for, for some it. reason I feel like it's wrong to put it above training exams. I, I feel like it's just wrong. So for now, because to say that's I mean, a top two arc without the Tail of Jiraiya stuff, 
if this was if the dry itself was included i would probably do it because that's too much peak to put but i think for now yeah i'll just but, i mean okay, let me think. so what's in here is it includes the, Sa the... sasuke killing orochimaru sasuke finding or getting his team together uh yeah. naruto and the, naruto and the other leaf trying to find uh itachi uh find sasuke or no find itachi to get to sasuke. and who did they fight oh i guess uh naruto saw itachi he didn't really fight him they right. saw kabuto they didn't really fight him they both just kind of left but okay i mean well you could say like what's the guy's name sugetsu like he i mean he fought kisame but i'm not really gonna count that they were barely like fighting. that was barely a thing um yeah they didn't actually fight and kisame would have watched him but anyways he had that obviously the actual fight with sasuke and itachi another arguable one of the better fights in the show i wouldn't say like be arguably the best but like that's top five really sure. up there like top five yeah easily top five and then again that moment afterwards where he learns the truth about itachi one of the biggest plot twists in the show that was yeah, crazy like, that was a huge like awakens the mangekyo like that was crazy because it's like dang what's him, gonna happen now like, declarating wanted to destroy the leaf village after that yeah of... he's like oh ah so like you it, know right, honestly i enjoyed this arc probably more than sasuke retrieval and chuni exam i'm gonna just be honest with these two things together but I, that i'm not putting it like a boy yeah, about to say bro i'm not putting a boy. in my opinion again enjoyability i enjoy like that's kind of my thing a trend for me i enjoy a lot of the shippuden arcs more than the part one like just in general not like more as in the part ones are bad i'm just saying i end up enjoying them Shippuden more. had more peak moments but i'll say like yeah it, it has a bunch of peak moments. yeah I'll, I'll say at least for me personally even though i would say sasuke retrieval is maybe objectively a better than chini exams it's me i would want to watch the chini exams more than sasuke yeah. retrieval i would rather watch the chini exams honestly next arc all right these arguably the, number one arc in the show yeah i see yeah over here. i think they go i think they yeah. go on top i'm yeah. not gonna lie this, dry this, fight with pain amazing naruto training with sage mode top tier his fight with pain incredible there's other stuff i don't even know like what else you got i mean you just hit the nail of the board like that's all that's really needed in all honesty like naruto Damn. going through the turmoil oh first of all no pain speech to naruto um, yeah is one of the most Shoot. defining mo for that that speech made pain my favorite character like that was yeah. a defining even to back moment. it up even when he met jiraiya even the speech of saying from a man to a god that one i was like all right hold on who, who is this bro like <laughs> like wait a minute like even that alone I already like skyrocket him immediately and also by the way conan let's not diss that fight versus conan was cool as well uh, the whole jiraiya like conan? yeah 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 jiraiya going like um what do you call it like undercover what's the word like to infiltrate like him infiltrating the rain village like mm -hmm. that was just super cool yeah honestly like that whole arc that whole part of that was cool like him like kind of getting intel f trying to figure out who pain is and everybody's just like yeah pain you know the god and he's just like what are you talking about who is this and like figuring out that it's someone he used to like his student like that was a crazy twist and getting and, the like, backstory you know, on like nagato and them as well too like it, uh -huh. it, really, it, it humanized like the person that's calling himself a god you know what I'm trying yeah to say. and like it just like, I love how it kind of like propped him up to be this insane character and he was but like all the when he was like finding the information about him it was just like so weird and like convoluted and like bro who is this like what is he doing mm -hmm. like i love that part of it and obviously when he actually found him he's like oh it's you like that's insane too and like i said his intro one of the best villain intros in my opinion what do you mean like intro? That music started like when pain first showed up and he started giving that speech yeah that to who dry that, yeah to dry oh, okay and like i said that music unmatched and then the pain assault in general like him raining the village almighty pushes the leaf village to dust killing mm -hmm. everyone his way naruto showing up the fight immaculate his sage mode transformation yeah. immaculate naruto uh, entrance arguably one of the best entrances in the show <laughs> in general the way he pulled up especially after soccer was like you know what i'm saying like you know, that, was, that was amazing uh again his speech going nine tails after witnessing he not he not as like supposed death um, and then you know him almost, you hate me now yeah, i'm like okay. him almost unlocking the nine tails but minato stopped him we get to see oh, how terrible minato's father was, really cool. was it was really cool okay bro. Um, why are you a hater <laughs> i'm always a hit on minato uh, but then also like after the after that naruto beats pain finds pain understands pain he still hates pain you know mm -hmm. at, uh, near the end um but you know he's starting to learn right. to like try to find peace because of the wishes Jiraiya had implanted on him yeah you know it was just a, a good full circle moment you know what i'm trying and to say 
I hate when people call like the Naruto versus Naruto or Pain, whatever, like Talk No Jutsu. It's like, bro, he gave him the work before any of that happened. He already beat him. And even Nagato admitted that he would have lost if Naruto wanted to kill him there. So I'm like, how is that Talk No Jutsu? He lost the fight first and then he decided to like do the right thing. So I don't see how that is that, like, in my opinion, but because I've been seeing people saying that they're like, oh, he just turned good. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. He got, he got, he got, you know what I mean? Like, he took an L and then he turned good. <laughs> but now that was just cool in general. Also, a shout out to the anime moment. Again, one of my uh, visually favorite moments in the show when like Naruto was turning into the Nine Tails. He was inside of the planetary devastation and like it started like shooting fire. You just see like all the rocks falling from the sky and like the, like that music playing. It's all like dramatic. It's like, nah, he's about to lose control. Like, I love that. Also, speaking of that, that fight in the anime, like when he turned Six Tails, I think, I think people hate on that uh, with the animation thing. I personally liked it. Uh, with, with yeah here's the thing is because is people say it's bad animation it's not bad it's the style that people just don't like and that's completely different the animation was amazing it was like fluid it looked great it was just like it, it was animated like very like cartoonishly kind of like the gear fifth fight you know it was animated very like non-seriously like a cartoonish style to show how like crazy it was mm -hmm. and people just call that like poor animation but that's not what that was it's at just all the art style opinion. So like yeah, you can, so you can not like the art style, but like you know, it's more so like yeah. don't hate on the actual animation that is purposeful. Because they did that in the first fight at the end um, of Naruto versus Sasuke, they had some of that style going on too, where it was kind of like real like crazy looking, like the animation was all like warpy yeah. to show how crazy the fight was, and nobody says anything about that one. So I'm like, I don't really get it. And it wasn't even the whole fight; it was only a small portion of it where he turned into the six tails. And even then, only for a small part until he got caught in the planetary devastation, and then it kind of stopped. So I'm like, oh. Hi, Kage Summit. This is an A for me personally. I think this is an underrated oh, arc. I I'm actually say above Search or not it. I would put that in S. Now, S. low S, but low key, I think so. What makes you say S? All right, let's see. What are we including? So it starts, where does it start at? Like, uh, after the pain fight. So, like, the, the right base after. is really being rebuilt. So, uh, so yeah, I, this yeah. includes Sasuke fighting Killer B. Um, that fight was great. Um, I love that actually, fight. Actually, I, 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 hold on. in the manga, it was actually during the pain assault, I'm pretty sure. But anime, yeah, it was fire. It makes more sense for it to be With like, you know what I mean? Summon. Yeah, because by the time you pulled up to the village, he had already fought pain and everything. So I'm like, it, I mean, it makes more sense for I mean, I guess, it, I don't know. I, I just included in the Five Kage Summit. And plus, it involves the fourth Raikage who got introduced into Fire Kart, you know what I mean? It just kind of flows better. But anyway, that fight was great. I love that character introduction for Killer B. Like, him thinking it was going to be an easy fight, and they just get their entire team gets washed. washed. Like, they stood no chance, bro. Like, <laughs> I like, that is actually crazy. Like, he killed Sasuke, like, three times over. Like, I've never seen someone lose that bad. But that was great. Sasuke going then... over to the, uh, to the actual place, and, like, he just, he just hit... He, 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 he got twisted because you can argue beforehand like because like he i remember during the killer b fight like he was actually thanking his team something he almost never does uh yeah. you know but like something just twisted after learning don yeah, so was that the becoming more like evil like generally evil and like he yeah, actually like started, kill, started driving him yeah he actually started wanting to kill people like i mean uh, he started killing people no like at the five kage summit though like he like yeah he that's what i'm saying like he killed the samurai like he started actually just killing them like yeah he was like oh whatever and even though before he was like oh don't kill him like even at the start was he gets you when they're fighting all those soldiers or whatever he was like oh yeah, make sure you don't kill him or when he fought those thousand shinobi didn't kill a single one like mm -hmm. but like yeah he started to like change his standards and also side note like his entrance like into the five kage summit room incredible that whole fight in general was I mean, it was great. Like, I loved, like, every part of that, honestly, from start to finish. And then you have, like, Obito. Well, before he pulled up, Obito, I pulled up, right? Or I don't know if it was before or after. I think it was. Actually, it might have been after. No. It, wait, Sasuke pulling up? That was before. Or no, Obito saved Sasuke. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay, that was so yeah, he pulled, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I just remember. So anyway, yeah, that part was great. Declaring the fourth great ninja war again, top tier. Then you move out to the Donzo fight, great fight again. And then like you know, they yeah, obviously the had that fights. little scuffle. Yeah, and like Naruto and Sasuke had that little scuffle. Like blah blah blah. Like I honestly, the whole arc is really good start to finish. I believe it deserves S. That's just me. That's fair. No, that's fair. Like, Don't like me. I mean, is is solid the whole way through. I enjoyed it a bunch. I enjoyed it more than any of the arcs in A. So, like, it's one of my personal favorites behind, like, the obvious top tier ones. Now, you, now there is one flaw with the arc, that being, or I'm not sure if it's the arc, but character 
characterization, <laughs> that being Sakura, oh, you know, with the uh, fake uh, love confession. And, and see, was, here's the thing. I'm not even going to say that's a flaw. That's more so just like her character is flawed. That, but that's, that's what I was thinking. Obviously, too. on purpose. Because I'll, like, it's I'll, not an actual flaw. <laughs> yeah, I'll at least say this because everyone else saw the bull crap. You feel me? Yeah. Like, and I, you're supposed to. Even Yamato was like, this is tripping. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, they they all they all saw that and like it's not i don't think it's like i don't knock the art because i think that was done purposely like she was obviously like not in her right headspace at that point mm -hmm. or something but i mean honestly i i feel like i like that the moment is there because even naruto is like fam what are you talking about <laughs> yeah like she was genuinely tweaking and that's i mean i guess that's more so her confliction with sasuke or like still somehow being in love with him even though he's gone for three years and all that i, I don't think that knocks the arc really at all but yeah no that's fair yeah no s tier is fair i mean i yeah yeah i i, I, really, I would do really enjoy that arc. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. now we're getting into the war arc and we're it's separating for, for certain parts so I'm going to try my best to separate them in a certain banner. The countdown yeah. for the war arc, it goes from literally right after the five Kage summon out where they're preparing uh, for the war and it yeah. goes over Naruto's nine tails training. I don't think this was bad. This is like a B though. Um, yeah. I, I would um, say above. I would say, yeah, I could be, I could say above Tenchi Bridge. Because they're, they're, now they're them being on that pillar, I remember that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, not there. Counting, I'm not counting. Honestly, wait, is this count the part where he breaks out or would that be the next part? That's the next part. Well, isn't the next part start when they see the four, the old Kage the war, or whatever? The war, was, the war was already starting. No, but I'm saying like, doesn't the, the, the confrontation, since it's called confrontation, or was it? Yeah, confrontation, this, doesn't that start? When no, this is countdown. Conference, like literally, because we got the wiki page. Uh, All right, let me see. What is this? When does, when does, like, I'm saying when does confrontation start? Like Confrontation starts yeah. after... It starts after Gara's speech, and like the the war is literally about oh, to happen. Oh, Yeah. Oh, because okay. the they attack. made it seem like they showed the Kage <laughs> and made it seem like it was like them. All right. Well, if that's the case, then um, yeah, I guess it doesn't include him. Well, breaking yeah, breaking out breaking out in conversation. That, that was already yeah, that was already during the war. He like he yeah. was late, so okay. But anyway, um, so what part? It just went up to his training, and then like I guess some point in his training. Uh, I suppose. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I mean, honestly, the like highlight of that arc, the fight with the Nine Tails, Kushina, Miyato's backstory, that alone, I could almost put it in A. That was beautiful, but I don't think I don't it's enough, though. I mean, those were uh, my personally some of my like because the favorite. remainder because the remainder was literally just what? a countdown to the war arc. It wasn't like anything grand. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? But like, yeah, I mean, like for example, like, it's solid, but like it's literally just preparation. Like those literally moments alone are S tier, but everything else is like it kind of drags it. But I yeah. wouldn't be mad if if you put let me see because yeah i i think i think i really want to say it could be bottom of it and that's fair but i don't know I'm not just because like those, just because like you know what i'm saying like those ah, like it's you know just, what i mean it's just those moments though. like they're cool moments they're amazing moments but those are like yeah, in like, between as opposed to the remainder which is literally again, just preparation like, naruto i mean sure i guess the fight hmm? naruto's training was cool and those two moments were, were, were generally yeah, cool like amazing but literally oh, everything also, else. Also, also, wait. When does the Kisame fight happen? I think that's afterwards. And wait, no. I think this is in. Hold up. I think this is in. Uh, if it's in, I put it in A tier, bro. If it is. It is. All right, A tier. No, I'm not. Not in this A tier. No. It's got to be A tier. I mean, oh, you, oh, yeah. Wait. Actually, you have Kona. A tier. Never yeah, mind. You, got, you got to put that in A tier, yeah, bro. You tripping? Right, never mind. <laughs> you tripping? <All> right. <laughs> you tripping? Yeah. No. Yeah, you right, try. Nah, it, got, it got that Conan <laughs> fight with Obito. Yeah, never mind. That's too many. That's too many yeah, things. Bro. Now, now yeah. it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Yeah, it actually okay. has stuff. Yeah, because now. that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll say I like that. yeah. Even even without the Conan fight, I still think it'd be a. But like with that, yeah, thousand. No, nah, I would. You might, like, you might have to move it up. So, well, maybe not. No, I'm okay. no, I'm definitely not. But <laughs> yeah, I was looking at the other ones, but I mean, like I probably enjoy it. considering all those moments. I enjoy it more than most of the arcs in A tier, but argue like objectively it's not better because there's so much like gaps in between the moments you know so that's fair but like again a mix like naruto's fight with the nine tails mixed with him meeting kushina that was a beautiful moment mixed with the crazy backstory minato versus obito you're gonna tell me like all that like the whole like her giving birth the whole fight now, with now minato, you, now kushina you the nine all tails. stuff that that that, that grants it a but i'm not putting it any higher like even and that's just that part and then you also have obviously like the kisame fight and then what else did we just say 
Conan um, versus Obito. Yeah, Con- like Conan versus Obito. That like some people like people really love that fight. Honestly, that's like a, that's a, so like with all that, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the, yeah, that's that's that's, that's, that's a at least. But because those are like two S tier fights, like so, yeah. You know what I mean? so Arguably I, three, because like Mike Guy versus Kisami, not S. That probably nah, that's an fight. A, that's like an but, but regardless, that's an A tier fight, two S tier fights. So like, you know what I mean? Average it out. What does that give you? S. This, but, that's okay. That, that's like two, yeah. That's fair. I'll give it that. But again, not any higher than this. Now, conversations. <laughs> literally, I deem this the worst arc, and it's the worst. It's for sure the worst. Well, all right. You can actually argue it being above Kazikage Rescue because this actually has a decent amount of highlights. This actually has. Okay, what are the highlights in this arc? Let's let's verify here. This yeah. has. Let's see. Oh, that fight in the war arc is pretty stupid, but you have Naruto still trying to train. I guess the seven ninja storm and stuff i didn't really care for that that much you have we lost kind of darwi fight I didn't, I didn't care for that darwi i didn't care for that me finna man never mind i'm putting this jump uh, wait hold on hold on <laughs> see the rest of it <laughs> wait is that the uh, conan fight oh never mind no no no, no, no. oh choji versus also, i don't care about that naruto leaving whatever that was bound to happen i mean it was um, yeah. ghetto cool. statue showing thing? up whatever don that was actually a cool moment i'm not gonna lie that was kind of when for me when the ghetto statue showed up that was when the war arc actually like started in my opinion because everything beforehand was just like weird prep and then fighting zetsu i'm like uh but like when they when the ghetto statue actually showed up i was like ah sure okay it's getting serious but that was a cool moment but anyway it's not an a versus not to be that was cool nothing crazy okay um see naruto helping out in the battlefield he was just beating a bunch of dudes whatever but then it doesn't really pick up until naruto versus nagato and itachi which, Ooh, which was right. cool, which was really cool that was really cool but then we go back to the the, the kage and the you know say those clams i, I don't really care for it, it didn't I mean, it, it didn't pick up yeah that yeah that naruto part was showed up. until no. well no until gara and onoki showed up to that fight because they were fighting um they were fighting uh who were they fighting they're fighting uh rasa or whatever. i don't know but when gar and onoki showed up to the mizukage fight that's when it stepped up because then he had like the steam guy and like it was cool like i liked it at that point but when they were just literally i mean there was nothing happening beforehand it was just a bunch of people throwing weapons and be like go pick it up and they threw it again and go pick it up like that's not a fight they're just kind of like padding for time you know uh, but like once they showed up to that fight it was it was solid i give that like an a or b or something but that was then, whatever fight. You know, Naruto know. Sage Mode, that was really cool fight. I like that, that fight cool. with the right with the third right Kage. That was cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, Him having to be resourceful and not just use like power to beat people. Yeah. Sasuke gets the eternal, that really whatever. That really, I mean, that was a really cool moment. I mean, sure, he just beat a bunch of white out too. That's whatever. I'm just saying him getting the EMS, but and then the real Madara shows up, but that does not include the fight. So in all honesty, this is still the worst arc. I mean, just Madara showing up alone, that's already yesterday now. Nah, no, but uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, this, this, is, I mean, this is still the worst arc. I not, would it put is it... Not, it is not the, wor- it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's definitely the worst. Uh, it, takes too long I, for stuff, it takes too long for the good stuff to happen. Keep that in mind. I'm just trying to think. It takes it, it, way too long, and it's sparse. Well, again, a lot of it is filler. Stuff. Keep that in mind. So what we actually watch no, it is, is not. not nearly as long no, as it, it, no. it is. The white Zetsu stuff is short. Have but I'm fights for filler. <laughs> all right, but literally, like all the stuff with the Omui and uh, Sai and like all that stuff, I, and even the Seven Ninja Storm, I did not care for. They were not that great. They were like, I mean, yeah, was going of, through the, you're going through the motions. Darwi and them, you know, it's Asuma and them, Naruto breaking out, whatever. You see, I mean, that you was see, all that, I, all that was whatever. What it did not, yeah, pick yeah, up yeah. I mean, again, I like, genuinely I'm did not pick up until that. Naruto and uh, Nagato and, and them fly. It did not yeah, pick up that's until cool. like, and that. I, was I'm, like, I'm okay with that. You could it argue is, it's better than Kaze Kage Rescue, but like, no. it's whatever. It's it's it's, it's kind of whatever. I mean, like, you can I try. still enjoyed it more than Kaze Kage Rescue. So I enjoy be. those moments more. But like, if I had to watch the whole arc one to one, I'm picking Kaze Kage. Nah, I can't take them running through the trees for five years. <laughs> them chasing that stupid freaking like. I mean, I guess that was filler, but like. I just remember them like um chase no it wasn't sorry them chasing Datera. I know they dragged that out, but golly, like that took forever, bro. <laughs> the whole soccer fight, like nah, I'm sorry. That that was way more painful to watch than my opinion than the war stuff. Especially considering the filler fights. There was only like th- two or three fights that were like unbearable or not unbearable, like bad to watch. 
everything else was cool. So I'm like, I, I don't you know. can argue, but I still deem it still just enjoyability. Hard. But it's fine if you put it, that worst. I'm it's not, it's not the worst thing ever, but it's still the worst argument. Yeah, opinion. at least argument. The war arc climax. Now yes, it did, it does not include for, or, or this tier list doesn't include the birth of the tent hill stuff. So I'm just gonna assume it does. If so right, let's, let's go over what it includes first because I kind of want to see. It includes Madra showing up and or not Madra yeah, showing up. Madra decimating. Uh, yeah. where, where where is it? Is it, is it yeah Madara decimating the fourth division yep. all the Top way up here. to um until Kog is about to show up like he does the infinite Sukiyomi. in my opinion that entire stretch low key S tier but that's up to you I would S tier either A I or mean S. that's exactly. like okay. the entire like that's like the best moments of the war aside from the Naruto and Sasuke fight so yeah like, yeah I'm not gonna Madara lie showing I'm up not fighting the lie. five Kage like that's like all like the kakashi versus obito yeah that's s tier i'm sorry like yeah, it doesn't no, it, belong there's in there way too many s moments for me not to put yeah there. i'll give it that like it's actually insane it's like, actually insane there's probably other ones i'm not even thinking about then that's just the ones on top of my head like, let, me, let me just really long Madara versus fourth division oh alone. sasuke and itachi versus yeah yeah sasuke like, versus itachi and, and versus kabuto Bro, uh, -huh. uh Kakashi versus Obito, or but even mm -hmm. before then, Naruto, Kakashi, and Guy and B versus Obito. Um, yeah, Ma and Madara versus Madara the five Obito. Kage. Uh, yeah, freaking and and there's everyone running through the beat or try to beat Obito and Madara. That, yeah, no, that's just yeah, that's, that's up that, there, that, bro. That's and like, yeah, nope. And the Ten Tails, the whole Ten Tails appearing, like them fighting at the Tail Beast, fire. Naruto versus the Tail Beast when he got KCM2, by the way, that moment was amazing fire like all that yeah nah like that has to be s tier you got also honestly i put it above five kage summit oh and the rest ah, i don't know ooh, ooh. see now nah. <laughs> bro come on uh, like uh, this uh, basically uh, five uh, kage uh, uh, summit with like the peaks being 10 times more peakier you know what i'm saying like but the thematics like, though the five know. kage were just so good like they, it was uh, but like this is to me this was the, the fourth climax was a spectacle i'll give it that but like the thematics of five kage were like just they were just hitting Especially yes. with, with Sasuke, like, but, like especially when Madara or like Obito was saying to Naruto and them was like, "Yo, this is Sasuke's ninja way." Like he's going into that descent. I love that. Like the. the I mean, sure. I mean, I do love that was strong. Obito, that was like, strong. You really should talk. I'm like, you know, but that was, regardless, that was really strong. I I can't say if I had to pick one to rewatch. I'm watching the climax. It has too many peak moments again. Like I said, I think it'd be above too many S tier moments. Way, way, way too many. Like just the Kakashi versus Obito fight alone. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's not even like considering everything else. Okay. The five Kage summit is still great. I'm just saying, like, yeah, Whatever. I can't, Whatever. I can't coast on putting it. You know what I mean? Whatever. Like, Whatever. Whatever. Like, Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> It's, it's, it's too many. It's too many. There's probably ones we didn't even think about yet. Like, that's just the ones off the top of my head. Like, you know what I mean? I'll give it that. Also, I, I do want to say one, 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 of the, one of the, not the worst. Like, it, well, I'll deem one of the worst because it makes no sense. The Or not, not it makes no sense, but like, whatever I'm with. I guess, it, like, the Hokage showing back up. I'm like, okay, I get why. I get, like, this is sort of ha had to happen. Ooh. But, like, there's some stuff yeah. like, I just don't. Condole. First of all, Orochimaru coming back. It made some really stupid. cool moments. It, it made some cool moments. I don't yes. think it coming back was stupid. Orochimaru, I didn't it was like it. Easily it, foreshadowed. I mean, no, I, and it kind of made right, sense. I'm not, I'm not gonna have this, this debate with you again. But <laughs> no, no, I also love the way he came back because it wasn't he came back on his own. Sasuke brought him back because he was like, I still, even though I'm strong now, I still have stuff to learn. Like you know, what I mean, there's still people that know more than me. He knew Orochimaru like. He knew he was like knowledge. He knew he was knowledgeable. I get it. So he brought him back. Like I, I think that was a fire way to do it rather than him just coming back randomly. You know? I get it. But your quote unquote foreshadowing, I just disagree. Again, another topic for another conversation. I'm not about to have a 30 minute discussion with you on this again. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is, bro. We're not gonna get anywhere with that. <laughs> yeah, um, minutes coming back. Oh well, actually no. I'm not even gonna say it. It is stupid. I'm just gonna keep it at that. I'm not. I'm, again, I'm right, not, right. I'm not I mean, I think I'm, it was. I'm not, cool. I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, it specifically. I'm saying like the Kage. I think it was. I think it was cool. Again, it created for some amazing. It moments. created some. The war arc would not have been the same without them being. Yeah. Right. No, yeah. It, it completely changed the war arc. Uh, like yeah. otherwise, I think it, honestly, I don't want to say it would have been boring, but they're kind of like were pillars that kind of kept it interesting to have the Kage there. Like you know what I mean? Right. Especially like Hashira, like yeah, nah, it w it wouldn't have been the same. Like it would have been like you know, it would have felt kind of empty. I feel I'm glad they did that, honestly. Also, but. Obiso's backstory was cool. Uh, I will say though, oh yeah, him turning over uh, at the end. 
I, I still don't like it. Like, or the, 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 the talk no jutsu that Naruto did. I was just because people argue talk no jutsu is terrible. Yeah. I'm actually okay with talk no jutsu for the majority. It was just that moment. I, mean, I was, yeah. just, I was just over it. I was like, that no, one, I was like, I it's do. Obito shouldn't have like a, nah. he's far too gone. There's yeah. no way he should be far too gone. I mean, sure, again, they kind of sort of beat him first, but he had to like his will had to kind of waver in order for them to beat him. And I, I just like, I don't think he in character would have really done that with how far he went. And the amount of people he killed, like him going through all that trouble just for him to be like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That yeah. that's the only moment of like talk no juicy whatever that I can understand why people would be upset. Yeah, no. The only one. Generally. That is it. And again, the fight was still good. It's just the very end when he was kinda like, and that's what caused him to lose, you know? Mm -hmm. And then him like turning good, even that even those parts weren't bad. It's just like the reason he turned Yeah. I'm like, uh, eh. Again, I was uh, it's like forcing it a little bit, but whatever um yeah I, it, it is what it is it wasn't bad per se all right it's just kind of eh. still I'll, I'll give the artist credit Kage yep. appears all right bro uh, so this is the technically he, the final arc before the wedding stuff but uh, yeah, okay he, i don't hate this nearly as much as other people but here's the thing know. it's there's one really bad thing about it it's not Kage showing up it's why or like just her how do i say this it's her showing up even though it, it, it didn't feel like she needed to you know what I'm saying? Madara was the last villain. That was plain and simple how it was foreshadowed since like early on. Like Kaga did not need to show up. Her showing up was stupid. But that being said, her herself and her character is it like what she embodies. If she was foreshadowed, I I would I'd be perfectly fine with her. In all honesty, I don't hate Kaga. I mean, it's like she was just like right like recent like in that arc, I guess. <laughs> You said what? Like I think Mater, yeah, like Mater, or Mater more so brought up the Sage Six Pass. I don't remember if Kage got brought up, but no, I know she, like that kind of stuff. He brought her up. He, he brought her up. Yeah, I, I remember there was a. But it was like in that. that art, so there was small amount of foreshadowing, just not really like very, very small. Where it's like you don't remember it. Like, yeah, and it was like in preparation for that arc. So I mean, you know, like, and I understand that. I mean, I get the reason why because Boruto kind of carried off with that, which is doing a really good job of it, by the way. But like, it didn't really work for Naruto because it's more so like you know, Madara was the last guy. I agree, it should have been the final villain. Um, and the cli wait, the climax includes the Madara fight, right? Like, this is starts mm -hmm. where Kaguya literally appears, right? Literally where, uh, where okay. she's about to appear. Okay, I was just checking, but anyway oh also side note yeah for the the last the climax then i also have to say the moderate fight was great amazing too that's another thing oh yeah yeah so that's another reason yeah i, I definitely it should be where it's at but anyway um again the kaguya fight was honestly good i'd say that was an a tier fight that was actually a really solid was, fight i really liked cool it fight. like they had a lot of cool moments them going through the dimensions blah blah, blah like naruto and sasuke figuring out their abilities like them like you know just kind of trying to work together especially with sakura somehow and kakashi like that was really cool kakashi like with dms that was a really cool thing to see too you said honestly. what ms dms was dms like dual ms like two. Oh, oh that's what they call them oh okay i never heard someone called dms um, yeah, yeah, like dual Mangekyo Sharingan, because okay. like it's not like it's EMS, it's not eternal. It's just two of them. He just had two of them. He's always had one, so like you know. Wait, man. what? Anyway, wait. Like he has two of them. He usually has one, so like that's why they say what, DMS. Eternal. He only had one eternal. No, he didn't. No, I'm saying he only had one Mangekyo, and like Ooh. now he has two. Kakashi. Oh, Kakashi. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought I thought I was speaking Sasuke. My bad. Um, no, 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 Kakashi. Okay um yeah, but okay but i mean again that was a cool moment and yeah. also like i said oh oh but with zetsu though mm -hmm. he ruined he ruined naruto though he ruined he well he he ruined the concept of naruto because he basically I mean, forged yeah. everything though that's that's the real like like he, uh -huh. he like he's he, everything that we loved up until this point was basically fabricated that's why I, that's the main thing i don't like. yeah yeah i mean well i feel like he more so would just like pitted the incarnations against each other right i mean it's not he like did literally everything but like he just tried to try to manipulate he set up multiple people. wars he was the one who wrote yeah. the uchiha stone tablet like he was yeah, like yeah. the pinnacle of that stuff bro yeah, yeah yeah like yeah i mean like but I, i'm saying like he did like the major things where it's like you know started wars like that like the ambitions of the uchiha blah 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 and kind of again try to pit the reincarnations of Indra versus like Ashra, that's what I meant. But like, I mean, he didn't literally like for like facilitate every moment. I'm just saying, like, he like a lot of the major things. It's like, dang, okay. 
Like I, I don't. Uh, really also, like I will. I that. will say though, like even though I do like the fight, it it just it literally just became like Dragon Ball Z, where it's like just space ninjas fighting each other, and that's where it's like it gets the board where it's like it's all about space ninjas or like space aliens stuff like that coming over. It's like it ruins the. Even though Naruto is obviously in a fantasy world, it's it's sort of grounded in that fiction in the fantasy world. Like, it's Are you saying so your human. powers get crazy with Kaguya? Because I mean, like, I feel like not not just with Kaguya. But I'm, I'm saying with like like it, it, you lose the human element with Kaguya coming. Are you saying because of the and the villain is just a random alien from another world? What it lead? Pretty much, yeah. Because like especially oh, okay. with what it leads to. Like uh, how uh, you get to Boruto, where it's like, oh, this has been a thing for years, where the where her kind like takes over plants or whatever. I'm just like, this is kind of weird to to note. Like you you watch you watch part one Naruto, you don't get any of that type of feeling. You get what I'm saying? So it's, it feels more human. Um, but but I mean, if I yes, if you watch Naruto back, more feel, human, but like still, <laughs> again, the nine tails literally the first thing ever shown. But so that's like, still grounded. That that's still elements. grounded in the world, though. That's but yeah, I get it. It's just like a beast that lives of the world. But you start That's to wonder, saying. like, you know, where did they come from? Like, what are the origins? Like, right, you, can, you can you can kind of sort of make certain. But yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. You can kind of sort of make though. connections. I don't think but... aliens. I don't think aliens. Yeah, it doesn't like really take you that far. Like, I get that. But again, I don't think that's like that terrible. It just wasn't good. Like, it just kind of no. I don't like, like I didn't. I didn't love it. Like, it was kind of just whatever to me. Like, it didn't. And it wasn't nah, good to, to me that like it sort of ruins it a bit so that alone i'm not gonna lie it obviously it's gonna be down here but i don't know it could all right yeah see I'll, however I'll... my reasoning why i feel like it's still not bad overall again is because after the kaguya fight you still have obviously like all the rest of it i'm assuming that goes into like the yeah it goes into like the end and so a one of the best fights my favorite fight in the entire show that alone i can't put it I can't put it that low like also i love how they did again like i said earlier that fight with naruto and sasuke cinematically the theme behind it the fact like that they had their individual goals and you know just, their ideologies are just clashing at that point like sasuke wants to be like the only one to be the bad guy basically and naruto's like no you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. i don't know i just <clears throat> i just love that fight again like visually it was beautiful choreography was amazing like it, it just it was like perfect and again i love how it turned into that because once they were all said and done like they're all saying their goodbyes like even with naruto and minato that was a beautiful moment like him actually like you know dying or leaving whatever, whatever he does i don't know that was really cool and like kind of sasuke being like all right yeah now that that's all done yeah it's time to kill all the tail beasts it's like whoa 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 like you know what i mean like it just kind of threw another like i don't want to say plot twist but it's just like again once you're done with the big fight and the villains kind of defeated you don't expect that like you're not expecting that you're expecting it's like all right we're all good now and then it's like no nah, we're not all good like I, I love that they did that they made you think it was over but it wasn't over that was pretty cool like i don't know i think from like the end of like say the kage fight like just like watching it it was it was it was it was it was, it was top tier but obviously because of the whole plot wise and some of the themes okay. kind of being cheapened yeah like keep from in mind that. this is technically the final arc of naruto this is how you cap it all off you end off with a bang with the fight but thematically speaking you i mean made it not well it thematically speaking it ended off amazing just the kaguya i'm part talking about like it I'm didn't end on that so well, you know. i'm aside the naruto and sasuke so I'm, yeah i'm talking about the kaguya stuff like like well if you're saying literally world, ending, like, that's yeah, what i'm saying you know what i mean when i say ending i mean like world building of the actual naruto world keep naruto and sasuke yeah, because I that mean, was that was completely obvious that was, that was gonna happen i'm talking about yes however i think that would still count as the ending because again sasuke i get it but that, all right but that's major all right, but that's, changes <laughs> but that's like you know saying I mean? oh put naruto like he was the final villain all right but like say put that naruto and sasuke fight in the kaze kage rescue are you gonna think that's gonna save it no that's yep. trying, that's right no uh, no. <laughs> yeah no i don't care i mean when you say save it it's not gonna make it s tier but it'll definitely move it up a tier a thousand percent yeah I'm and again again like technically it didn't end on kaguya like that was just a twist that happened during the arc in the start of the arc technically if you're just kept writing this as a different arc and like it, it wasn't great but again like where it actually ended it ended off amazingly like because i considered naruto versus sasuke fight sasuke being the last villain he's trying to destroy whatever kill the tail beast blah, blah blah he's acting as a villain in that case and that was the last fight so like you know what i mean like that's why i consider the ending to be perfectly fine amazing even but like just because of the earlier part it kind of like 
where it cheapens the theme of the show like sure kage was like a more significant villain but like sasuke was still the last villain so i don't want to say it ends on kage because it doesn't you know what i mean i mean whatever at this point i'm not putting it any higher than than this i mean yeah that's fine i was just saying i'm not gonna argue like that i guess because overall sure i mean like themes and plot wise that's where it really downfalls that's what everything else is that's fine he got destroyed like every other part of it was cool like i don't again i don't think it ruined naruto or anything i just think it was like it's it just like it a poor me, direction to take it <laughs> even though i like but again, like look, in look, general look, i'll I don't say this think it was like look i'll say perfect. this i like i like the boruto manga right i wish it didn't exist yeah. i wish it didn't exist i mean sure like if naruto ended off more like with madara and i mean well technically i guess with madara and then sasuke out yeah it would have been a more concrete satisfying, cap yeah ending. that would have been like a more, more satisfying grounded. conclusion yeah and I would, I would but then i mean much prefer that like but, but yeah again, i'm not i'm not like i'm not too furious about like that cocky direction but i mean that's how i've always felt i never thought it was all that bad no it I just mean, wasn't good like you know what i mean it just wasn't what you know it wasn't the twist we wanted like it, it wasn't needed at all it was out of nowhere that, that, that's why like i really did not like it when when uh when the, when that initially came out like i eased like into it over the years with that being said, that yeah. doesn't make it good. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like, I think it's fine there. Like, if I say if the so like if the ending and the Sasuke stuff blah, blah blah wasn't there and it just ended on Kaguya, then I'd say it'd be like C tier. But again, that's not the case. And yeah, like, no. in my opinion, she wasn't the last villain, and it ended on an extreme high note. So I'll give it. I'm like that. honestly, it, yeah, I don't the, think the, it's all that bad. The Kaguya fight was was good. The Sasuke versus Naruto, mm -hmm. was, uh, one of the best. Yeah, even the, the Kaguya fight was good. So it's like even there, it's really just the plot. But like, yeah, really, but, but like that's what I go to story. For. I go to a story for a plot. That's what I'm trying to get. I'm not trying to have the fights I mean, be the right. only thing. That's what I'm trying to get. It. It was just that the fight yeah, was so right. good that you had to let it slide. Yeah, and I mean to me, like everything like is included in how much like, and I mean for me even objectively, how much whether you say the show is good or not, like you know fights, blah blah, blah choreography, animation, like the um what do you call it uh like the pacing like those are all important too so like you know that's why i say i don't think the arc is like trash just because all that other stuff is so good like it's just that part that brings it down so i don't think that should be the only thing that we count you know what i mean like there's still other things you can count <laughs> to like say whether it's good or not but again like it is a big deal so that's why i agree that you could put it that low but I mean, that's about it i don't think it should go any lower than that i mean if someone argue at the it being the very worst i would completely understand but yeah uh, i'd understand i'll, I'll give it some but i'll watch this 100 times over before i watch anything else in b tier so i'll give it this credit i don't know why this is the shin i didn't i didn't read i didn't read the the novels but i watched the anime with the wedding stuff i, I don't yeah care. It, it seemed like it was cool i mean the only part like notable that i really liked and shoot this is the only part where they did not any type of justice in the time skip but the part i did like is where he asked erica to be his best man that was a cool moment like they still kept him some relevance at least that's cool like, that was cool to see I'll never and again it, like no. the whole kage thing oh, i just really hate that that part honestly i hate more than the kaguya thing like what how the dirty they thing? did him like when his inauguration he wasn't even there that doesn't include like, this though no nah, i know i'm just saying wait actually isn't that the end or is that in boruto no that's in, that's that's like before boruto that's his own ovo special or ov ova special wedding i don't i don't really care to rank this in all honesty like it's fine for what it is I don't even um, remember what happened in it. It was like a uh, bunch of like Orochimaru got pardoned. You feel me? He's invited to the wedding for some reason. I remember that. Uh, but he likes okay. being followed by Yamato. Uh, everyone's trying to find the perfect gift for Naruto. Uh, yeah, I remember uh, that. Iroka was like lamenting what he was trying to get for Naruto. Uh, uh, but then he got asked to be the father for the, the wedding. It was It was cool nothing much more i feel bad even ranking this i don't care i don't care. yeah you could just I, leave it uh and i'm, I'm, not, trying to, I'm not trying to i'm not trying to put that d whatever whatever it be uh, it, i don't care to rank this one if y'all want to rank it go right ahead that being said this is the list you know i i think this is good for the most part uh if you, you can flip flop some things if you really want to but like, i think for the most part this is like like peak i think i have the right opinion you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you yeah. want to if you want to argue feel free in the comment section below and again if you guys do want to see the list that i already made going from the worst to the best click the card that you see here to watch that video but yeah aside from that thank you guys for watching hope you guys have an amazing and blessed day peace